On a landmark 5 to 4 Janus decision last June, the Supreme Court ruled that forcing non union members in right to work states to pay union fees is a violation of the First Amendment. At the time, public sector unions predicted that decision would deal a devastating blow to organized labor. Well, almost a year later now, some of those predictions are coming true. In reports filed with the Department of Labor, Ask Me, the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Employees, and the SEIU, the Service Employees International Union, lost roughly 210,000 agency fee payers. So what you might be asking, is an agency fee? Agency fees are simply a fee that union officials charge based on their federal privilege to force everyone into these union collectives and say, hey, we're, we have to represent you, so therefore you need to pay for this representation that you didn't ask for, didn't vote for, and perhaps never wanted. This is about a $150 million hit to those two unions that reported that loss. 98% of agency fee payers in one union, I think 94% in the other. And it's real people and real money. But supporters of organized labor say those losses are relatively mild. In fact, the Janus decision spurred organized labor to become more proactive, to seek new members, and it's arguably working. I see this as a big boom to organized labor. They're looking at different industries. They're looking at nonprofits. They're looking at others who are willing uh, to go before the management and seek uh, union rights. The full effects of Janus won't be known until later this summer when the National Education Association and the American Federation of Teachers report their finances. A bigger tell will come as the 2020 campaigns ratchet up and we just see uh, how much money organized labor is throwing into campaigns across the country. Yeah. Thank you, Doug. Bill. Doug McElroy watching that.